Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey with Studio Spares, and I have a confession to make. I love microphones. Ever since I bought my first what you might call professional mic, and yes, it was a Shure SM58, I have been a micaholic. My personal collection is now well over 150 mics. Uh, what can I say? It's a sickness. However, times they have a changed in the last 30 years since I started my collection. These days, you don't need to spend a small fortune on a microphone to get something usable. Don't get me wrong, I love top of the line boutique or vintage mics as much as the next studio owner, but there is another way. In this video, I'm gonna show you four of my favorite large diaphragm condenser microphones, the sort of thing you might call a studio mic, which are available right now for under 200 great British pounds. I'm not gonna get all technical and start talking frequency range graphs and maximum SPL figures, but I'm gonna let you hear how each mic responds to spoken word, male vocal, and acoustic guitar to try and give you an idea of how these mics sound in action, in real life, so to speak. There will be no EQ or dynamics processing applied to these recordings, so you get to hear a fair comparison between each mic. And where the mic's mounting system does not feature a pop filter, I'll be using one to stop any plosive P's or B's. Audio-Technica have been making microphones since the late 1960s, making them the oldest brand in my shortlist. The AT2035, like all the mics in my quartet, has a fixed cardioid pickup pattern, meaning it picks up sound well from the front of the mic and rejects it from the sides and rear. Around the back of the mic, there are two small dip switches, one to engage the minus 10 dB pad to protect the mic and the recording chain from loud or distorted signals, and a low frequency roll off filter at 80 Hz to stop any super low frequencies getting into your recordings. The mic comes with an Audio Technica elastic shock mount, which the mic just slides into, and a nice AT pouch to keep the mic safe when not in use. It's a good, solid feeling mic that will handle high sound pressure levels and has a nice, smooth frequency response. Talk to her, talk to him, let the whispering begin. Make it big, make it bold, and the story will unfold. Pass it on, pass it out, at the element of doubt. Talk to her, talk to him, it's a game of Chinese whispers. British microphone manufacturers Sontronics have been designing and producing high quality microphones since 2004. Their STC20, which comes in the STC20 pack, again has a fixed cardioid response, but this time no pads or filters, which makes using the mic nice and easy. It's kind of point and shoot or point and record. The pack includes a very handy shock mount, which incorporates into the provided pop filter, you get a 5 meter XLR cable, and again, a pouch to keep your mic nice and clean and safe when not in use. The mic feels good and solid with nice gold trim and lettering against the black body. Talk to her, talk to him, let the whispering begin. Make it big, make it bold, and the story will unfold. Pass it on, pass it out. At the element of doubt Talk to her, talk to him It's a game of Chinese whispers Australian, not 
Austrian microphone manufacturers Rode burst onto the scene in 1990. The NT1A is the latest edition of their very successful original creation, the NT1 Large Diaphragm Condenser Mic. Fixed cardioid pattern again with no switches, whistles or bells, the mic features a good solid looking head basket and the gold dot means this is the front of the mic. Singing into the rear of a cardioid mic is not going to give you the result the mic is designed to give. The mic comes with a shock mount that again incorporates the pop screen or filter and a 6 meter XLR cable. Talk to her, talk to him, let the whispering begin. Make it big, make it bold, and the story will unfold. Pass it on, pass it out, add the element of doubt. Talk to her, talk to him, it's a game of Chinese whispers. Last on my list are the new kid on the block, Aston Microphones, with their Origin, which was launched at NAMM 2016. The Origin certainly wins the prize for the most original design of the four mics, but all those cool looking features all add up to the mic's mechanical stability. The knitted stainless steel wool behind the waveguide spring acts as a pop filter, so if I didn't want to, there's less need for this popper stopper. Aston do not include a shock mount for the Origin. They say the mic's capsule is so well isolated from the body, there's not really a need for one. So here the mic is mounted directly on the stand. Accessories wise, well, you get a pin badge, but no bag or pouch. On the mic we have an 80 Hz low cut filter and a minus 10 dB pad, and that's about it. Talk to her, talk to him, let the whispering begin, make it big, Make it bold, and the story will unfold. Pass it on, pass it out, add the element of doubt. Talk to her, talk to him, it's a game of Chinese whispers. So now you've heard all the mics in isolation, I'll replay the audio examples back to back. Vocal first, then the acoustic guitar. Talk to her, talk to him, let the whispering begin. Make it big, make it bold, and the story will unfold. Pass it on, pass it out, add the element of doubt. Talk to her. Talk to him, it's a game of Chinese whispers. So I really hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. Now I know there are hundreds if not thousands of mics in this category, but these are four of my favourite and four that I feel deliver you best bang for buck. They all have their own distinct tone and you may feel that one sounds better than another on spoken word, vocals or guitar, but I think you can see or rather hear that these are great sounding mics and when you take price into consideration they are amazing value for money. If you need any more help or advice, please do not hesitate to reach out to the team at Studio Spares, either by phone or on the website studiospares.com. But for now, my name's James Ivy, and I'll see you again very soon.